Once you've collected a mushroom you're interested in culturing or growing, you'll need to prepare some agar plates. The purpose of this process is to create nutrient-dense and sterile substrate for the mushroom tissue to begin growing out as mycelium again. We recommend working with a pre-mixed enriched malt extract agar, which is antibiotic free, but you can always experiment with your own amendments to the agar. Sometimes people add color to the plates via different amendments in order to see the growth better. The ratios here are for pouring 15 to 20 plates, which is usually two sleeves of petri dishes. You will need a digital kitchen scale, a spoon, enriched malt extract agar, easy to pour bowl or measuring cup, distilled water or tap is okay, 750 milliliter glass bottle with modified lid for gas exchange, tin foil, pressure cooker, petri dishes, flow hood, isopropyl alcohol, paper towels, parafilm, and scissors. In order to modify a glass bottle to be ready for agar, drill a hole into the lid and cover with micropore tape or stuffing. Next, measure out 25 grams of agar media with a digital scale. Mix into 500 milliliters of warm water into an easy pour measuring cup, ensuring all the agar has dissolved. Pour into a glass bottle, screw lid on, cover cap with tin foil, and place in the pressure cooker in a secure position so that it will not fall over. You can use empty glass jars to ensure the agar bottles stay upright. Next, fill the pressure cooker with enough water to where you can see it at the camera rack. Now you can pressure cook for 45 minutes at 15 psi. Once pressure has reached 15 psi, adjust heat to maintain this pressure. Do not let it rise above 15 psi. Stay within earshot of the pressure cooker to ensure the pressure regulator is rattling. Turn off the heat when done. Wait for the pressure to drop to zero PSI. Do not open until pressure has dropped to zero and remove the bottle when cool enough to handle but still warm enough to remain a liquid. The agar will solidify when cool, but you want this to happen when it's in the Petri dish, not in the bottle. In front of the flow hood, wipe down the outside of the Petri dish sleeve with alcohol and a paper towel. Rub alcohol on your hands and allow to air dry. Now it is very important to be mindful of proper lab technique and possible sources of contamination. Stack the petri dishes right side up. The larger lid should be on the top of the smaller bases in front of the flow hood and manageable stacks. In front of the flow hood, remove the tin foil and cap from the glass agar bottle. Moving swiftly but carefully, start pouring your plates. Pour from the bottom of the stack to the top, keeping each plate open for as little time as possible. Leave the flow hood on and allow plates to cool for up to an hour before using or wrapping with parafilm for storage. Now that's that. Now you're ready for culture.